Hi, my name is Paul Marco, and welcome to the World Beyond Belief. Today, we're especially honored to have David Beverly back. Now, David, of course, I always say he's a biblical scholar, and he always denies it, but he knows his Bibles. And since we talked to him last, he's noticed that a lot more things are changing. And I thought we'd bring you up to date on what he's found, and also what we've discovered together about this crazy Mandela effect or quantum effect, whichever you want to... Whatever. Yeah, QFX, the effect, as TMR has yeah. called it. Um, I've seen quantum effects now. I've seen still Mandela effect. I've seen the effect. I haven't seen what I threw out there, QFX, just for short. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, I know, NASA... Working for NASA, we love our acronyms, right. right? Yeah, so you can't can't kind of get that mentality out of you if you do it for right. a while. Right, right. Yeah. Plus, we, so, were, we were raised in the era of the three initials, which is, has, has some... That's, oh, that's fascinating, too, some, I bet you. Some satanic yeah. connotation about that's that. That's good. We should probably yeah. use four initials. Right. <laughs> Or two initials to try to get out of the three initial era. Yeah, but all the chemtrails will make us forget them. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Rich, by the way, look, look, just real quick, like uh, I did before, I like to open up with a short prayer, and I got a couple of things I want to point out from our last visit together, real quick. Great. Okay. I'll clear up a few things, right? Great. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, Father, I thank you once again for this opportunity uh, to be salt and light with my with my brother and sister and uh, those that are watching who, who know that Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we call him in the church today, uh, that he is the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, and by your Holy Spirit, we come to know all truth. And we thank you, Lord, that you've given us this opportunity to be uh, examples of truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks. So, so look, I want to clear up, and, and this is not an attack on anyone. Uh, you know me, I like to kid around. Right. Even though this is serious stuff, but we got to maintain our humor through this. A joyful heart is good medicine. Right. I could be downtrodden all the time, and I just feel like crap. Okay. But uh, remember last time people pointed out the, uh, the the globe that was sitting behind me, and I'm going to talk about what's sitting behind me now right. to clarify a little more of what my sort of personal feelings have been historically, right? right? And so remember, we had that globe. Well, you know that guy, uh, what is his name, Tyson? What is the guy's name from Neil, that? Speak Neil deGrasse Tyson. Grass Tyson. Okay. You know, anybody who's spent any time on the web talking about uh, conspiracy kook stuff. <clears throat> oh, my. Now the phone's going to go off. No problem. Let me turn this off. So, that was, that was Neil on the phone. It was Neil. Yeah, I said, how <laughs> dare you? Anyway. <laughs> So it'll stop in a second. Okay. Anyway, so anybody who's spending amount of time out on the web have seen him talk about the actual shape of the earth. It's an oblate sphere rolling, actually. Right. Well, actually, it's a little fatter at the bottom. It's more pear-shaped. Chubby, <laughs> chubby, if you will. Yes, never mind the fact that every image we have that also are fake images that they're all perfectly round, practically. Yeah. Right? And so I took it upon myself to take my trusty globe that I had back there, and I was going to heat up the top half and kind of remold it so it would look like a pear, and I left it in too long. Uh-oh. And this is what I got, so. That's, <laughs> that's trash. <laughs> anyway, let me exp explain the stuff that's behind me now. So that the, people understand what? Yeah, so that we can uh, avert some comments before yes. they before they hit Again, the thing. Remember, this is semi true about me. I know that our nation is not really what it's what we've been presented it is, but I've always honored the Constitution. I thought it was a wonderful document. The idea right. of it is a pretty amazing thing. 
And so I was always a, a Christian constitutional conservative. Some people might have heard that term. Okay. And Obama said, we're all about our guns <laughs> and our Bibles. That's right. That's I right. got it. Okay. And I got a constitution back there. So that's the point of all that stuff back there. But I did miss one important piece. That's oh, right. There we go. That's right. <laughs> There, I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> but, but being a Christian, constitutional conservative is three three C's. Yes, that, sir. That's three three three. You know. Oh, beautiful. That's right. The le and gematria be three. If there was a gematria for English yeah. language. So anyway, <laughs> look, we talk. We came, we got together today to talk about some of the changes in the scriptures. Yeah. Yeah. And mostly, if anybody's not aware, if, they're, if they've been under a rock for a little while or asleep in a coma or something, I don't know. Um, it's mostly the King James and the New King James, right? Where everybody's pretty much in agreement about that, that the changes we've seen are in those. Um, and that's probably because they're the most dependable Christian sources. Most, most of the Christians that I know, Protestant Christians, yeah, would say that you know if you're going to get a Bible, get a King James version. Well, even non non that's a great point, Paul. Even non Protestant Christians, this is a uh, this is like a 60 year old Catholic Bible, and it's the King James version. It's the Holy Trinity edition. Now I I know the issues with Catholicism. I'm well aware of, and even I can point out some really great errors. In this Bible, prior to any Mandela or the effects or e or QFX prior, that there's tons of error. They changed the scripture in here, but this is a King James version too. Even the Catholicism always placed an emphasis on King James. Mm -hmm. um, it was always considered to be the most accurate of the English translations, right. and it's had error in it. Whatever. It's 16, uh, what do you think, 1630 some? Yeah, but, but there's prior versions, uh, the more old English, oh. prior to the King James that were English versions. If you read them, you will, if you read them and the letters that are in them, you can, you can find the old English King James, prior to King James online. Read it the way it's written and you will sound old English because yeah. of, of the way they spell the words uh -huh. and everything. It's really cool. Um, so look, everybody knows about the lion shall lie down with a lamb. No, now it's wolf. Everybody pretty much uh, has caught. So what else have they caught? Um, well, is it, that, that's, there's what? another animal that's changed in that sentence. I can't well, remember really? what it is yet. Yeah, it's, it's like the leopard or there's another animal. That Fascinating. Was, that, that I've heard. I mean, I'm not a Bible expert, but uh, yeah. Well, neither am I. Even though you keep saying I am, but <laughs> listen, compared I to love, me, I, compared to that? me, you are. Compared to me, you are. Well, uh, so anyway, I, the, the Palm Sunday one you were telling me about. Oh yes, yes, that's what I'm about to get to. And, you know, I love God's word, and here's the thing, and maybe it should be stressed: we are not suggesting to throw these away. Uh, we're pointing out that people have been corrupting it, but in a unique way never before seen. And they're not just corrupting it, they're corrupting our understanding of reality, right? You know, spelling of words, innocuous stuff like, right. you know, cheese it instead of cheese its. Yeah. Fruit loops. Fruit out with depend instead of depends. I mean, come on. So anyway, um, I got, what, what did I, I printed up the document. I printed them up so I would have them handy. Of course, I don't have it here now. What did I do with it? There it is. You know, I think the depend thing, that's, a, that's an improvement. Because it seems to me, if I had to wear adult diapers, I'd, I'd rather have one that says depend rather than depends. Because depends, kind of like, it depends. <laughs> Maybe but, it works, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, maybe, maybe it depends. So but, maybe that was a brand name improvement. That's yeah, good. that's what I think it was. Uh, well, here's, the, here's an interesting one here. This is one 
<laughs> if, if you haven't heard this one yet, folks, this is, this is a beautiful one. It said, this is in Exodus 13, 12. So if you have your Bibles, folks, we'll pretend we're at a little makeshift church. Okay. If you have your Bibles, you open your Bibles to Exodus 13, 12, your King James or New King James Bible. And it'll read, thou shalt set apart unto the Lord. By the way, capital Lord, that's a title, not his name. His name is Yahweh or Adonai. But, his, but Lord is a title. Uh, when they do that in the King James. So, he shall set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the male shall be the Lord's. The matrix. Now, the original said that openeth the womb. Now, that makes sense. Born of a woman, come even from a female cow, everything yeah. born first, that's the Lord's. Most Christians who spend any amount of time in church understand that concept, you know, uh -huh. and, and it's not the only place it says matrix it says in Exodus 13, 15. And it came to pass when Pharaoh would hardly let us go that the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beasts. Therefore, I sacrifice to the Lord all that openeth the matrix being males, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. Amazing. Amazing. And then ex in Exodus 34, 19, again, all that openeth the matrix is mine. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> then Numbers 3, 12. Okay. And behold, I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix. Because <laughs> see, in, in God, in the, with the Israelites, God set aside the, the political priesthood to serve him. He would claim them. They would be his. They would serve him night and day in the temple. Uh -huh. And so he's saying, he says, I've taken the Levites from the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn that opened the womb, it normally says, from among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine. And, and, and there's another place, and I'm paraphrasing, where God says that, that their reward or their uh, inheritance is, is basic, because the Levites don't get land. The Levites don't get what other people do. Their inheritance is his service, him. Right. And, and people bring offerings. The Levites eat it. When people would, the, the, those, the cattle that were slaughtered and all that, they didn't just get piled in a heap. They would feast. There's a whole lot of Levitical priests, and they had families. They would feast unto the Lord. Okay? Right. And so, and I'm getting, I'm digressing here, but still, now you got numbers also. Numbers 312. <laughs> and I, behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix. It's supposed to be one. Yeah. Numbers 18:15. everything that opened the matrix and all the matrix and all flesh, which they bring unto the Lord, whether it be of man or beast shall be thine. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. And, and there's some, I've heard a couple people say it always said the matrix. <laughs> I, I really? Don't, I don't know how old that, uh, that word is. Um, you really think the Matrix was in the King James Bible? Here's the thing, though. If you go back and you were to go and look at the... What's the term for looking up language? Etymology. Etymology. You go and you go to an etymology website or whatever resource you got, and they'll somehow, all of a sudden, now Matrix is a word for womb or starting point or something like that. Yeah. I, I mean, I looked it up. And, 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 and we're having this dialogue and presenting it so that others can go see for themselves. You know, you know that should be said, too. I, this isn't a matter, and I got a lot of opinions, and I know you do, too, but this isn't a matter about we want everybody to believe our opinion. It's a matter of about the truth of things, you know? Right. And this, this says uh, matter... Or mother, female. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I don't know that it was ever even like that prior to this effect. And um, uh, here's, look, this is a big one too that you mentioned a moment ago, and we might as well get into this. And, and this, there's so much we could touch on, but this video would be too long and not digestible, and we want to avoid that. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we will gather together like this, and and we'll point out other things. You made a fabulous point a little while ago, and why don't you bring that up, Paul? about what you said about what you really think has been done with the effects. Oh, the J with the JFK thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, I was watching Photo Helix. They may not know what the JFK thing is, though. I, I'll explain it. Oh. <laughs> I was watching Photo Helix the other night, and Photo Helix is, uh, is, I think he's really insightful because he seems to be able to put together all the, all the disparate things that are going on. And he was pointing out the the one discrepancy that happened with the JFK films. Now, my memory and the memory of people, other people that I know, most other people I know, it was uh, the car that JFK was killed in is a uh, Lincoln convertible, um, dark color. Some people are remembering light color and other things, but I think most people remember a dark color. And there was a front seat and a back seat. Well, it comes to turn out, if you go back and look at the uh, Zagruder films, Zagruder films, or any other films of that scene, you'll find that it has a front seat, a back seat, and they've inserted a middle seat with two people in it. And yeah. also a, 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 a silver kind of roll bar right in front of the two people. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it right now, as a matter of fact. Yeah, and it freaked yeah. us out because we had made a video about Donald Trump, and I wanted to draw the attention of the people to the fact that uh, you could actually, you know, yeah. it's so easy to kill a sitting president, let alone, and if you look at the guy in front of him, though, what's really interesting, and you might have to do this, uh, you people at home might have to pull this up, yeah. But Photo Helix noticed that the head, there it is, is a different size. He's in front of Jackie, but Jackie's head's much larger, and uh, Kennedy's head is much larger. So this discrepancy in the head side, and it, look, as he goes back, you can see, to me, how much smaller it is. I noticed this also. It's obviously an insert. In, in other words, what I think Photo Helix discovered was the fact that this wasn't a, a remake of history. This was a modification of an account of history. So they seem to modify logos, names, accounts of history. But, but I, also they modify the history of the account, it seems like, too, don't you think? I don't think they're modifying the, the actually what happened. Not the actual event, but modifying the account, the historical account that we have. Right, right. You know, like if, if you were to read see Time magazine from that era, or even on a shelf somewhere, somehow it's been modified to show the new vehicle. Right, but it, yeah. it, it has, it actually has. But yeah. it's a modification of the periodical. It's not a modification of the actual event, I think. That's my opinion right. off, the, off the top. Because I don't, um, I'm not sure now. If you go back to the Fruit Loops thing, and yeah. supposedly they called the uh, the office, and the office said, "No, it's always been OOT." And, right. Uh, but I would imagine that they were reading from paperwork. I don't imagine anybody was there when they thought the original name. I mean, people last in corporations what three years, so there's such a turnover. Nobody probably has firsthand information. Now, yeah. I could be wrong. I'm like everybody else out there. We're trying to figure out what's going on. And well, well, but look at this. Think about this. If Satan, we're talking about one thing where Satan has the power to corrupt matter. This is matter, 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 solid yeah. matter, things in the earth, and he's the prince of the air. So he has the power to change matter. 
the words that are printed with ink on this paper. But he does, he, he, he can't change God's, God's word. Right. Okay. And so in the same manner, and I'm in agreement with you about this, is that I don't think that he can go back in time. He's not a, omnipotent. He's not always been, always will be like Yahweh is. And so he can't go back in time like we're thinking time's been changed. They're just jerking us around. Right. Right. And so, but what he could do is mess with all of the material world right. things, including our records of those events. Right. But yeah, that's why in our minds we're going, whoa, whoa, whoa what's up? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so that totally makes sense. It actually sets right um, with the, what, the prison that we're in. The right. sin person that we're in, and and because otherwise we're giving Satan the ability to do something that only God could do. Uh, yeah, and I don't. I was talking to somebody this morning who was talking about. We were talking about uh, consciousness development. Yeah, which may or may not happen. It may conflict with. Uh, Christianity, but I think in this particular case it doesn't, because Jesus, uh, whether he was an evolved uh, human or whether he wh whatever he was, he was much higher than the character that we're portraying as Baal or Satan or any of the any of the any of the little G gods yes. uh, that could do that. And they listen; they are real gods. They they. The gods of the nations, and Michael Heiser gives a great, they were, God stands in the midst of his holy council, okay? And they, he called them, I called you gods, little g. Little g. They're little not g. the creator God, Yahweh. But see, here's the thing. Jesus is not just a higher order being, because according to scripture, Jesus all things was made through him. There's nothing that was made that wasn't made through him. It is it through him that we walk and breathe. And so the scripture, he's always been. Okay. And so uh, yet he came down, was, he was the only begotten son of the father through uh, Mary, a virgin. Okay. But Jesus, Yeshua, he's always been. Okay, and even that's kind of a hard thing for us mortals to get our brain around. No beginning, no end. Uh, uh, Melchizedek. They say that Jesus is of the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not have parents, did not have a beginning or an end. He was a type, a shadow of Jesus. You ever heard of Melchizedek? Abraham, when he won this great battle, he came out, Melchizedek was the priest of the Most High God in Abraham's day, in, in Scripture. Uh, forgive me, I can't tell you where it's at, but I'm, you could Google, Abraham gave a tithe to right, Melchizedek. Right, okay, okay. Google that and you'll find it, okay? And, uh, well, you know, I'm sitting here telling you that, well, right? Like, uh, Abraham right, yeah. gave uh, huh? Yeah, the, the only point I wanted to make is that yeah. we're not talking about the AI run by this uh, this other entity, call him uh, Satan, Lucifer, whatever. It's not an omnipotent, all-powerful. It's something that uh, can be conceived of by us mortals. I think the yeah. lim limitations on what they're doing, and you know, it seems like if you look at these changes, like I, I mean, this thing we we looked at the. It's a video that we put into a video that we made. We put a clip mm -hmm. in. And while the video clip was in our video, it changed. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't there when we put it in. It changed yeah. since then. And it blows yes. your mind. You think, oh, man, how are they doing this? They've got that. No, they haven't. What they've done is the AI, or whoever's really powerful enough to do this, changed the, the, uh, our records of it. Yeah, the physical aspects, the physical aspects. Yeah. Um, and, and it still is a powerful thing, 
this Bible I've been reading for 10 years, and I say this story over and over to people on the street. I've been talking to people in Walmart, uh, my daughter's friend's grandmother. She's a good Christian lady, and I try to get her get her brain around. Everybody's stuck on God's word never changes. Right. That is so utterly true. But this physical print of God's word physically can be changed. And they changed it, even while it laid on my stool in front of the chair that I read it on for 10 right. years. They physically, it, it magically, call it whatever you want, use a, whatever word, quantum effect. <laughs> they changed. QFX. Hey, yeah, but they're, you know, they'll find, you'll find that there's what they call residue. And all these changes, there's residue. You can find Berenstein Bears. You can find TV Guide references to the, yeah. the, 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 the I, I have it. I found one on my hard drive on my laptop. I got a, a graphic that was a joke graphic called The Trouble with Bears, right? Yeah, and good. it's in my pictures. And in it, it has, uh, it's so great, man. I, I'll send it to you too. So you can stick it in here. The Trouble with Bears. Where the heck is it? I'll find it, okay. but it has Bernstein or Stein bears on the graphic, and it's it's years old, and it was left. It happened to be in all my pictures on my hard drive. Right. So no. So not only are they only changing these physical manifestations, which blow our minds. Yeah, it blows your mind when they take the palm out of the Palm Sunday. Did we mm -hmm. explain we explained that that there's no longer yeah. Palm Sunday because yeah well, Palm. We, didn't, we didn't explain it yet well let's get we, into that in a minute but let me finish um, yeah we think it's so incredible because we don't understand the computing power of an AI it's just a physical computing power of the AI and it's not perfect it because it's got uh, the residual it's man, it's man made. Yeah, it's man-made and it's it's got these glitches and what do we call residue, which yeah. is such a great uh, uh, a way to the way to put it. It leaves behind residue, so yeah. you, so you can actually still it's it's not smart. We could still reconstruct the reality the way it was because yes. there's enough residue out there. So not only you, is it you actually answered a prayer that I have made today. Because oh, yeah. I asked the Holy Spirit to give us the wisdom to understand how are we going to prove these things that are only in our memory. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what we're going to have to do is expand beyond the limited experience, uh, experience that we have in the, in the physical. We're going to really yeah. need to remember that we're uh, spirit spirits, where we live in an environment that's probably holographic or some kind of a manifestation of electric some some kind of way frequency and god spoke all things into being spoke right, right. and so frequency. and so when we see uh something change physically we have to realize that that's not that that probably is a technology that's not that far out of our reach as as common humans let alone the breakaway civilization and and yeah the, the evil force not be aware of it yet that they actually are planning to give people tiny uh, quantum computers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a that's a whole other story. But yeah, yeah, they're working on they a company has miniaturized quantum computing devices so that the general public would have that kind of power. Wow. You know. Some. Yeah. A guy, a computer guy that we we've had on uh, the show has talked about. He says quantum computers right now, the, the state of the art, is so unreliable that he'd rather use a conventional one. Because of the environment they require to be operational. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's too touchy. The, the tolerances are zero. Yeah. So, so if they've got something like that and it's working for them, uh, maybe, a, maybe a, a, a cricket will crawl into the room and cricket and it'll throw the whole thing akimbo well, did you see the happy video about cern 
No. The song We're Happy video. No. I'm not happy. You haven't seen it? No. It's, you haven't seen it? No. Okay. It, supposedly, it's, it was put out in 2014. And in the video, and I'll point you out to it, and maybe you can do a screenshot of it. In the video, they have a physicist in his office full of all kinds of papers. Classic scenario, you know, a mess. And he's got a sign that says uh, Bond 1 and Mandela underneath it. And then he's holding up a handwritten sign that says, now uh, we're happy at CERN with the at sign. But he's got Bond 1. It's like a placard with string. Around. You, you'll see it. I'll show it to you. And, and it says Bond 1 and Mandela. Well, you have to be a crazy kook like us. Uh, I went I immediately. My first thought in my spirit was, James Bond. Now, there's also the first bond that they were trying to break, to break the things that they're trying to discover how things are held together. So there's a play on words. They had just found the, the God particle, quote unquote, the bonds, the glue that holds the universe bond. together. So bond one. It was a double play on words, right? But and it's, it's flat out in the middle of the dance. They're dancing around. It's all young people. They're all beautiful, right? Yeah. And, and, and you know, they're young, youthful, and, and idiots. Useful idiots, I right. think, is what Soros call them. And um, so the guy's sitting there, and I went and looked it up. Well, the first James Bond, it was uh, um, Casino Royale. It was a black and white movie. It was none of those guys we normally think of. I can't think of his name, but his last name was Nelson. Nelson Mandela. Okay, and I'll show you the video, like I said. But but here's the thing: this is this is a thought too. This is about all the crazy conspiracy stuff about NASA, about CERN, that they're all evil, evil. They what they're doing, even NASA, is evil. But I, I've said it before: when you watch these young people and they're dancing around, they believe that they are doing good. Right. They can't discern good and evil. First of all, because they don't believe that there is a God in heaven and that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. This is scripture. Those that believe God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, which we're doing. Okay. Okay. And so, and many others. So these kids believe that they're doing good. That's why they're doing a the happy dance on the video. We're happy because we're doing good. You want to know what the good was that they think they're doing? What's that? Changing the status of Mandela. Just imagine if you're a, you're a liberal and you once were. Yeah. And Nelson Mandela's in prison in apartheid. Remember, that was a big deal. They had, you know, Farm Aid. Remember the age of Farm Aid and all the musicians? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like Farm Aid this. Aid, aid that yeah. it was it was great if you, if you were a music music fan because it was great but it wasn't for what we think and so there's always these things free mandela and you're a young impressionable near 30 phd you know writing your thesis on physics right you're at cern the highest the pinnacle of physics of the physics world and you realize that you could change the condition of Mandela. That, that's what you believe. It doesn't mean, matter what the truth is. Right, right. This is what you believe, and not just you, but every all, all of your, your cohorts. You would think that this is the grandest thing. We've, we've just changed the world. And you would do a happy dance. Yeah. You get it? And, and that's what I see when I watch that video is I there they think that's how Satan is getting us. He leads us to believe that we're doing ultimate good. Paul, when he was cr killing Christians, Paul, who, who was Saul, yeah, he thought he was doing ultimate good. Yeah. Having Stephen stoned until Jesus knocked him off his horse and said, what are you doing? And he's like. Yeah. Who are you, Lord? I'm Jesus, the one you're messing with. I'm using my own colloquial right, way. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I, so I think you're right. On, I think you're right on target. I think that uh, they really do think they're doing good. We're going to have to 
spend a lot more time considering what good it could be because it's all under the auspices of God and trying to figure yes. out what this whole thing's about is going to be an amazing thing to live through and I'm glad we're going through it with our eyes open. Uh, yes, it is an amazing time. It has taken a lot of of my energy, my life, my thoughts, but I'm excited to stand for God's truth. It's an exciting thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're, gonna we're gonna figure. We're going to the people that are eyes open through this. We're gonna learn so much. Uh, we're gonna be opened up to so much. It's gonna be so amazing. What's gonna yes. be what's gonna be revealed little by little. But we need to have an open mind, rock yes. back, listen to it. Uh, tell us about the Palm Sunday thing, because this, yeah. this blew my mind because this. And, and we'll wrap this thing up with this, okay? okay. This is good. And, I, and, I, and look, people who are hearing this or experiencing it, do not fear. Right. Do not fear, because that will cloud your understanding and your judgment. You will always make wrong decisions when you have fear. Right. Always. And so there's no reason to fear. God is in control. He's in control, man. This is a joke. Right. All this stuff. And, and also the, the thing with AI, uh, the way it was understood to me, I don't know whether you, you heard, uh, what's her name? Uh, Level 9 News. Her name is... Um, I know, I know who you're talking about. DJ. She okay. said, she, uh, I don't know whether she said it directly or I took it that way. The AI reads fear. The AI, we're so logical when we're fear driven. We're, they know what we're going to do. When we come out of love, the AI doesn't understand. It can't get it, man. It can't get it. So as long, I, this is my interpretation of what she said. As long as we, we're having fun with this, we're laughing, we're discovering new things, we're, we're, we're taking our values, what I've learned, uh, from my years of studying all these religions and through uh, uh, David's deep understanding of Christianity, we're trying to find our get, get through this. And I know you guys, all you guys are listening are trying to too. So, yeah. so here we go. Uh, just have fun. Keep yeah. your eyes open and don't be afraid. Faith. Yeah, faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love. Right. I, even if I have the wisdom of the angels and I can just herald all of these things and have all this knowledge, it's it's worthless. It's dumb without love. Right. Right. The AI's got a lot of knowledge. <laughs> right. It does. Yeah. All about the all about the other. Well, get into this Palm yeah. Sunday thing. Is check this out. We Christians we celebrate a thing called Palm Sunday. It's the week before. A historic moment that Jesus entered into Jerusalem just the week before he was going to be crucified. Uh, he may have known he was going to be, but the people there didn't. And they, uh, the, the story generally goes as Jesus uh, was going to Jerusalem or into Bethpage, it says, which is like a suburb of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And he tells his disciples, go get a donkey. A, a colt, a young donkey, never been ridden on. Yes, you want to add to that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well can, a, can a donkey have a colt? I thought a colt was a horse. You're, you're right. You're right. Um, I've seen it. I I don't know. It's I, I forget what it's called. Uh, maybe it's a colt if it's a young donkey. I don't know. Um, honestly, but we know from scripture that it was a an, an unridden on donkey. In the old okay. King James, it said ass. And ass was the only curse word that we would ever hear in a church. <laughs> if they actually I read what it said, the word ass, and everybody went, oh, woo, woo, yeah, right. in the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So, ooh, scandalous. So, anyway, Jesus tells them, hey, if somebody says, what are you doing? You say, the Lord has need of it. And they went. And somebody said, what are y'all doing? They said, the Lord has need of it. They brought the donkey to Jesus. Uh, and they put the disciples, put their coats 
on the back of the donkey, and Jesus got up on top and started to ride into Jerusalem. It's called the triumphant, triumphal entry, if, some, if you have headers in your New King James. And so then it says that the people shouted, Hosanna, glory to God in the heights. Yeah. Hosanna, blessed is, be, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. And I'm paraphrasing throughout here, but this is what it says. And then it says that they laid their coats on the ground. And they also always said that they laid palm leaves, palm leaves, and they waved them too as they shouted Hosanna, and blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. And now in the three Gospels, and I'll read you, this is out of the King James Version. This is Matthew 21. Okay. And I will just start. Let what? me interject one thing. A colt is an uncastrated male horse. This is interesting, too, because this is another corruption that, and that we we're discovering. Because here it says, and the disciple, this is Matthew 21 in the King James Version. I'm down at verse, this is for people who want to open their Bibles. And it's down at verse... Um, Six, we'll start at it. It says, And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them and brought the ass and the colt. So now we got two. Two animals now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put on them their clothes and they set him thereon. Sounds nice and King Jamesian. Right. And then, and then at verse 8 it says, And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, so you imagine there's people before Jesus and following, right. and they're crying out, multitudes, it said, multitudes. saying, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna to in the heights. Okay, so we just now really at a glance here, we got now, we got two, an ass and a coat, and, but they spread branches, they cut down branches from the trees. And I, like I said before, what? What? Bradford pears? Right. What? Okay. And so, okay, so now we got tree branch Sunday, right? Because it doesn't have anything about the palms. And then in Luke 19, again, this is from the King James. And it says, and when he was come nigh, this is, this is King James, Luke, the same relative account of Jesus' entry. When he was come nigh, even now at the descent of Mount Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples, wait a minute, wait a minute, here it is. They brought him to Jesus, that's talking about the donkey, and they cast their garments upon the colt, <laughs> and they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. Not coats, clothes. Clothes. No leaves, no trees. And this is Luke, who, if, unless somebody point out I'm wrong, Luke is a doctor, and he was very detail-oriented. That's what I've heard, too. Okay, and Luke, that's why he did all the genealogy stuff, because he, he was that kind of guy. He thought like that. Detail. Yeah, yeah. And it, a lot of people be like, oh, please. You know, Cousin Joe came, and I think, you know. <laughs> All right, but nonetheless, it's good because we got the scriptures. All right, well, at least we had them. Um, <laughs> so, and then, oh, what were you Mark doing? 11 is the other place in King James, once again. And it said, uh, again, here it's, uh, and certain of them that stood there, this is Mark 11, verse 4. Five, but this is when he sends about to go get the donkey. He says, and certain of them that stood there said unto them, the disciples, what do ye, what do ye leasing the colt? And they said unto them, even as Jesus has commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees. Again, Mark 11. I, well, here, I just, I, just pulled up, I just pulled up Palm Sunday. Yeah. It still exists in Wikipedia, which is the last place I'd go to get it. Yeah, but there ain't no scriptural reason for it now. I mean, no, yeah. but, but it says uh, Palm Sunday is a Christian 
a movable feast that falls on the Sunday before Easter, Eshtar, yeah. the feast commemorating Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, an event mentioned in each of the four conical Gospels. In many yeah, I don't have John here with me. In, in many Christian denominations, worship services on Palm Sunday include the procession of the faithful carrying palms, representing the palm branches the crowd scattered in front of Jesus when he rode into Jerusalem. So this is a residue. Yeah, it is a residue. And, and here's another reason uh, 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 evangelist, an evangelist friend of mine called me and he told me an important reference that's connected to the event in Jerusalem with palm leaves is that in Revelation, I think it's Revelation 7, it talks about the multitude with white robes and they hold palm leaves in their hands. It's okay? There. What? Well, yeah, they, uh, the face. This is in Revelation. This is in Revelation. Oh, in Revelations. Yeah, in Revelation 7, I believe. Uh, Revelation 7. And, and the reason I say is because, you know, Scripture corrects scripture you you you, yeah. you it literally yeah. because god has always been always will be all because you 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 find him you find jesus throughout the scripture and it, it, it qualifies itself it's an amazing thing okay. yeah it couldn't be just a book written by some men you know i've got another and, i've got another piece here what it's got a painting by pietro entry of christ into jerusalem this was painted in 1320 yeah, hey, Lorenzini entering the city on a donkey symbolizes arrival of a peace rather yes, than slowly. rather yes. than a war waging king arriving on a horse. That's in Wikipedia. Wow. So now he arrives on a colt, which is a young horse. See, they're trying to make him into a killer. I, th I think they're trying to. Switch him, with, be. him with uh, Muhammad. I think the the peaceful one is going to be Muhammad, and the warlike one is going to be Jesus. I think that's what they're going to try to do because they may, they may try to do that, and that's why they'll have every excuse to want to kill Christians. Right. Uh, and they already. My wife said this the other day. They already are doing that. Yeah. You know, the scripture says that they will call good evil and evil good. So, so it's, it's of no surprise. I'm not saying that what you're saying is 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 not uh, a good point. It is, but it follows suit. It's, it just follows the pattern yeah. that we're experiencing. It's more of more of the same crap. Right. Um, Revelation seven. Uh, it starts in nine. It's uh, in this. It's, this is in uh, ESV English Standard Version. It's it's still in the King James too. Uh, but in this, it says. After this, I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number from every nation and from all tribes and peoples and languages standing before the throne and before the Lamb, who is Yeshua, Yeshua Jesus right. Messiah, and clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And so there's a... There's a spiritual import, importance of the palm leaf, and it's been it's been wiped out of the King James and New King James at least. Right. And it was always there, always there. Yeah, yeah. There's there's residue all over Wikipedia. I'm sure they'll, I'm sure the AI will listen to this. Oh, it's going to clean up because right now it's listening to you and me. Yeah, right now. And it is. People, okay. See, this sounds very conspiratorial because they don't understand how technology works. When a person hears the statements that you and I are making, is they are listening. It is not a human being. It's a machine that doesn't eat or sleep or nothing. It's not really. It's not like a little box cube in a corner. It's a, an interconnected, vast array of massive, high-end computing power. Right. All interconnected in multiple multiple processes and it is t sifting through what I'm saying and what you're saying right now and looking for ways to clean that up yes. to integrate we're teaching it right now and and 
There's no way to get out of this, really. Right. There really isn't. Unless God tells me, he says, you know, y'all are going to have to move to an island somewhere and just don't talk about me on the right. internet. I, it, I don't think he's going there. Spend, <laughs> spend, spend more time. Spend more time being your spiritual self and less time being attached to this physical matrix. You know, get into the love of your wife and enjoy yes. of your children. And yes, I'll realize do. that you're that you're there before, during, and after, and it's all, and that this physical materium thing, this is a this yes. is this is entertainment. This is training. It's a training program, and we're we're doing very well because we're taking notes and we're observing and we're figuring out what's happening and we're realizing that this isn't an omnipotent power doing this this is a this is a, a machine that leaves residuals and makes mistakes yeah. and can only monitor uh predictable uh algorithmic type responses they're working on that though well, a couple, let him, let a couple of work. weeks ago, I saw that they were trying to get uh, Watson, you know, that IBM Artelec that you can buy for your house. Watson can learn how to create music, so to put emotion. So they're trying to create an emotive algorithm. They're trying to introduce that. But see, God, see, we have to remember that God breathed his spirit into us. We have his spirit in us. They can't algorithm that. They can't. Right. right. Human beings have what I call, and I've heard called in, in written text, direct knowing. There's no algorithm. There's no process. There's, right. It's just, bam, we know it and we can move. And yes. that, I don't think they can replicate that. Uh, no matter how fast they get it, it still has to go through an algorithm. Maybe I'm wrong. No, 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 you're you're nailing it, but you you, and then, okay, and finally, anything that people hear here, it's uh, here here, any that we talk about, even if they disagree, that this is iron sharpens iron. Right. We want if you see something wrong, not like the not like the government. If you see something, say something now. now if you see that we've made an error, by all means, point it out. And love, please. Yeah. It's okay, even if you say I hate you, Dave. All right, whatever. It's cool. But tell me, tell me what error I made, so I can correct. And, and what we're trying to do here is we're trying to bring some uh, calm, calm people down because this is happening to people that are awake and alive. Calm them yeah. down. And I hope it's at least a little bit entertaining. This is, this is the most entertaining guy that I'm I know of. <laughs> And, well, I used, uh, to, I used to be Dave the party guy, man. Right, and I'm I'm kind of a good straight man, so hope that this brought a little levity. <laughs> you are, you're my straight man. <laughs> yeah, hope this brought a little levity into your into your life, and uh, we wanted to keep this short so we can do it often. So I want to thank you very much, David Beverly. You're my uh, man on the inside in terms of those scriptures are concerned, and I appreciate God. you being there, and. Uh, he freaks out with me, and I freak out with him, and finally we put it on the YouTube. So uh, thanks for doing this with me, and uh, thank everybody who listened to this for listening, and uh, yeah. take yeah. care. Love you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.